In a month from now, NHL 24 will be released, and after playing the NHL 24 technical test, I can proudly say here are four hidden mechanics that will be in NHL 24. Now when I say mini saucers, I imagine people are thinking of the traditional vertical self source speed boost, but I am talking about using saucers more horizontally and after LTs. This is an amazing way to create space anywhere on the ice without sacrificing speed, and it works even better in NHL 24 than it did in NHL 23. It's a great way to avoid hits and poke checks, especially along the boards, allowing you to have the puck for longer, get in the zone cleaner, and take your time on attack to the moon. If you thought LT would be completely dead in NHL 24, you'd be wrong. LT pivots are another fantastic way to create space anywhere on the ice. And no, I'm not talking about a full LT spin. I am talking about a small LT movement to the left or the right to open up space and passing lanes. This is a very deceptive move because defenders are usually expecting a full LT spin, a dangle, or a straight line. If you skate one way and LT pivot the other, sometimes using the right stick before you pass, you can throw your opponent off and take your time on attack to the moon. This mechanic is strictly for 1v1 sorry Isha players. But if you're having trouble with player switching, this is a great mechanic for you. To do this, you need to hold RT or R2 and click down on the right stick without the pack. This will switch to your last guy back and is great in the defensive zone when someone is spamming rebounds. Or it helps you skill zoners who love to sit in the middle because you don't know how to play fucking defense. This will help limit your opponent's time on attack going to the moon. For the last one, this is not as much of a mechanic and more of a tip, but this year is going to be genuinely better when putting wings on the actual sides. So lefties on the left and righties on the right is going to be the meta. This will help you control the puck along the boards easier while allowing you to still be able to LT spin. If the wingers are on the opposite sides, it's harder to LT since they nerfed it on one side for NHL 24. Wingers on the same side make scoring rebounds, tap-ins, and just overall cycling in the zone easier. Especially because the ways to score in this game are much more simplified, aka spamming D to D, shooting for rebounds, and hoping for a tip-in. And don't worry, with your right strategies, your player will be open for the 1T. Taking your time on attack to the ma- Guys, that was epic. Let me know if any of these mechanics helped you in any way, and let's hope a lot of them are still useful come NHL 24 after the patches. These all helped me in the NHL 24 beta, and minus a couple fixes, I think the game is mostly staying the same. Thanks for subscribing, and see you on the virtual rinks in NHL 24. <coughs> Holy shit, I can talk normally now. Holy f